Hey guys, welcome back to Lush Aquas. In today's video, I'm going to show you three ways how you could siphon out water from your aquarium using only a rubber pipe. Now, it doesn't matter if you have a planted aquarium or you have a bare bottom aquarium. As long as you have a rubber pipe at home, you can use it to siphon any of these aquariums very easily. Now, only one thing here I would like to mention is your aquariums would have to be higher than uh, the ground level. If your aquariums are at a ground level or a base level, these methods wouldn't work. So if you're aquarium is at a height like mine you could use these methods to siphon out your aquarium using only a rubber pipe we're not going to be using one of those squeezing mechanism siphon pipes you get at the market uh, readily available nowadays we're going to be using only this rubber pipe and also i'm sure a lot of you already know at least one of the methods i'm going to show you in this video but i'm really curious to know how many of you already knew all three methods so watch the video till the end and comment down below if you knew all three methods or how many methods from these three methods did you know as well so let's quickly start off with the first method it's known as the suction method now this is by far one of the most common methods of siphoning an aquarium i'm sure a lot of people watching this as well currently follow this method or have been following it in the past all you need is a rubber pipe as i mentioned and you need to dip one end of the rubber pipe in your aquarium and suck on the other end this would create a vacuum in the pipe itself and siphon out the water I'm sure uh, now that I'm explaining it to you, you already know what I'm talking about. But a lot of beginner hobbyists make major mistakes while using this for the first time or, uh, you know, for the first few times because uh, they end up drinking a lot of water, ingesting a lot of water. Now, I know there is this meme that is going around saying if you haven't drank your own aquarium water, you're not a true hobbyist. But to be honest, guys, it is not really healthy to, you know, ingest any aquarium water or even hold it in your mouth. Because though you might say your ammonia, nitrite, nitrates are really low and you have checked the parameters as well. But still, there could be a lot of bacteria or parasites in your aquarium itself that could make you sick. So it's really not a good idea to ingest water even though it is done by mistake so the one right way of doing this method is when you are holding uh, your one end of the pipe in the water itself you need to use your thumb to uh, shut the water or to stop the water flow soon as you've created enough pressure by sucking on the other end now you need to uh, see that the water flow is just above the tank and then you can leave the other end into the bucket and the siphon should start Now the main reason I've used a see-through pipe for this method is so that I can see the flow of water and I avoid water ever going in my mouth and also I've used a thinner pipe for this aquarium it's always better to use a thinner pipe for a smaller aquarium so you can remove out more debris more dirt and siphon out less water if you use a very large pipe it's going to siphon out more water and you won't be able to remove all the debris that is necessary to remove. Now coming to the second method, it is quite similar to the first method itself but it is a little safer because you don't need to suck on the pipe at all. The principle is the same, it still works on creating a vacuum in the pipe to start the siphon but it, this is a much much safer uh, method to practice or to do. Now for this method all you need to do is you need to dip one end of the pipe into the water while holding the other end and keep filling the pipe till it is almost 60 to 70% full. Now once you fill the pipe with around 60 to 70 percent water you need to hold both the ends of the pipe add one end of the pipe to your aquarium while the other end of the pipe goes into the bucket now to start the siphon all you need to do is remove your finger from the pipe in the aquarium itself and that should start the siphon without a problem Finally, let's talk about the third or the last method of this video. Now for this method, I'm going to be using a bigger pipe because I am going to be siphoning out my discus aquarium. Now for this method, all I need to do is uh, take one end of the pipe and attach it to my tap and the other end I need to attach it to my DIY siphon pipe like I'm showing you right now. Now once the pipes are attached, all I need to do is start the tap and wait for the water to flow. You need to make sure you dip the siphon pipe into the water and go back to where you've connected to the tap. Now all you need to do is switch off the tap, remove the pipe and add it to a bucket and your siphon should start.
but that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video now you know three new ways of siphoning your aquarium don't forget to let me know down in the comments below if you have used any of these three methods before or you currently use any of these three methods to siphon out your aquarium also don't forget to subscribe to lush aqua and click on the bell icon so you're always updated with any of the new videos or content we post on our channel i'll see you next time bye bye take care